Operation Dragon is here, and there are some awesome additions added to the game. Complete missions earn tickets. Send and receive gifts earn tickets. These tickets play a key role in only leveling up your event pass. Now, if you opt for the Elite Pass, the event pass becomes even more useful. Because it includes Owen and approximately 65 Toxicons. With those Toxicons, you can unlock a bunch of slick new skins that are part of the event, and each with their own unique effects. I couldn't resist and ended up snagging Phoenix Skin. It's pretty amazing, especially considering you get 100 Toxicons for just 16,000 gold. As someone who absolutely loves trying out new things and collecting fresh skins, I genuinely think it's worth grabbing this offer if you have saved up. However, for a more affordable price, you can always buy Toxicons directly from the marketplace. Let's get into it and talk about Owen, the new rare operator. He is extremely weak at 1 to 3 stars for my game level, but it starts to improve at 4 stars. I felt that at 5.5 stars, this operator shined the most. You can see his health improvements on the screen. Before diving into the action, there are a couple of important things you should know. First, getting used to the idea of not burning in fire. Secondly, understanding that you'll survive against Landau. It might take a bit of mental adjustment, but once you get used to those two things then you will be fine. Those two things are the best qualities of Owen, but one other quality that I'm obsessed with is this dashing ability. He doesn't dash like all the other operators, but rather has a flash forward type of an ability. With this ability, there's a few seconds of improved movement speed. This movement speed boost is the most useful attribute, because it helps you move around enemies a lot easier to take them down. Funny thing about this ability is that if you use it, and then right away use adrenaline, then you will actually slow down to the speed of adrenaline. This means that the Owen's dashing boost is faster than if you were to use adrenaline. What makes it really fun, the dash unlocks whenever you make a kill. Similar to Ray and Jason, and I think that's why I love this ability. I don't know why he isn't an epic, but Owen is as close to an epic as possible. I mentioned previously that he dies as quick as Rayers, but at level 5 to 5.5 I seem to survive a lot longer and don't face quick deaths as lower star levels. As for the talents, you can see what I have equipped on the right side, but you can always switch them around to your liking. For his sixth talent, he has two abilities. One of them is the ability to hurt enemies as you dash towards them. This is useful when you want to damage someone's health for an easier takedown. The second sixth talent is the ability to burn the ground as you dash. I'm sure some people could find this useful, but for me I am already using Molotov and I don't really find it useful in a lot of scenarios. Let me know which one you guys use. As for the 10th talents, I don't have enough resources to upgrade it to max, so I don't know what the 10th talent feels like. But the first one gives him a healing ability whenever you kill with fire or physics. The second one is an interesting one, because it helps keep you alive when you dash into trouble. If you're dashed into mines, the chances of your health going down is 5%. I mentioned previously, the reason I love Owen's ability is that he feels similar to a skilled base player aside from burning everything. I say skilled because his abilities are similar to Jason and Ray. Whenever Jason makes a kill he gets a free dash, and his dash gives him endless bullets. Whenever Ray makes a kill she gets free invisibility, and each invisibility gives her more health. Getting a free flash dash unlocked every time Owen makes a kill is amazing. I'm still testing loadouts, using Adrenaline right now along with Molotov, but I think I might take off Adrenaline and use something else. But I've only had one day to play and I really enjoyed the EU-10. Games felt fluid, but some of the problems I faced was dealing with long-range opponents primarily F8. If you're caught in open space you would most likely find yourself in trouble. If people use Flash against Owen then that would also be a struggle for him. He could avoid SMS if he dashes at the right time. He can kill a Moses, but might die in the process. He can explode anything he runs over or gets close to after dashing. Mines cost a lot of damage, but still alive. Max Slaymore sometimes explodes sometimes doesn't, but the damage isn't as much as mines. If you face C4 then it'll kill you. Smart Bomb does the least damage, and this effect is kinda cool running through. Barbed Wire gets destroyed. I assumed he would flash through it, but that's not the case. Similar thing happens to Missile Defense and it will also disappear. Fire gets pushed away, as if it was land out. Kind of cool. That's all I have for you guys. 
Shout out to the bros for supporting the channel, you guys are awesome. Let's be like Owen, and quickly dash our fingers to the like, subscribe, and even comment buttons. Tell me what you liked or disliked about Owen. Thank you all, and I'll see you guys in the next one. By the way, the bag holder icon has changed. Subscribe to keep up with the latest videos and all the changes.